Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at solving a quadratic equation by the method of completing the square, and we're going to look at what happens when our lead coefficient is something other than 1. All right, so we are going to begin the same way we normally do, which is to move the current constant to the other side of the equal sign. So that gives us 3x squared plus 6x equals 7. Now, we cannot complete the square on our perfect square trinomial with a coefficient other than 1. So what we need to do is from the left side, we need to factor out that lead coefficient of 3. So that makes 3 times x squared plus 2x plus, and we'll set up to go ahead and add our value on both sides. Okay, so we need to take out that lead coefficient of 3. Completing the square only works when your coefficient for your x squared is 1. So now we follow the same process to fill in our blank for our constant. We're going to do b over 2 squared. Our b is what we have after we've factored out the 3. So in this case, 2 over 2 squared, or 1 squared is 1. So on this side of the equal sign, we're going to fill in our blank with 1. But if we were to think about what we've actually added on this side, if you imagine distributing back in your 3, what you've actually added is 3. So to maintain equality on the other side of the equal sign, we're actually going to add 3, or 3 times 1 on that side. So now... Factoring through our middle value, our left-hand side becomes 3 times our perfect square trinomial factors to x plus 1 squared, and our right-hand side, 7 plus 3, becomes 10. Okay, so now we're going to solve for x here by isolating x. So the first thing that we're going to do is get rid of that 3, so divide both sides by 3. So we have x plus 1 squared equals 10 over 3. Now we're going to take the square root of both sides to clear out that squared. So we get x plus 1 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 10 divided by the square root of 3. Now we know that we don't like to leave square roots in our denominator, so let's go ahead and rationalize that real quick. Square root of 10 over square root of 3. To rationalize that, we're going to multiply by square root of 3 over square root of 3. So that becomes the square root of 10 times 3, or 30, divided by the square root of 9, which we know the square root of 9 is just 3. So we get the square root of 30 over 3. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite x plus 1 equals plus or minus square root of 30 over 3. And then subtracting 1 from both sides, we get our final solution of x equals negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 30 over 3. So when we're using the method of completing the square, we need to remember if we have a coefficient other than 1 as our lead coefficient of x squared, we first have to factor that out and then finish off the method of completing the square. Alright guys, that does it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one.